Sami Zayn will remain in WWE. He has re-signed a multi-year deal with the company. Reportedly up at the end of 2021, he has decided to re-sign. I'm sure he probably got a lot of money. And uh, now he's feuding with that guy from Jackass. <laughs> Maybe he'll throw him out of the Rumble because they're paying him so much money now. Wait, who, Johnny Knoxville throwing Sammy out or vice versa? No, the other way around. <laughs> it's possible. Yeah. Who I look, if you're going to, I know for non-wrestlers, I guess it wouldn't matter if they have no idea of their situation, but if somebody is going to pick you up and throw you out of the Rumble, uh, you know, I would rather it be Sami Zayn as opposed to, I don't know, Omos or, you know, one of the Creed brothers. You know, let me say something about Sammy. Because somebody here says, Sammy got paid to geek. I once went to uh, BOLA, PWG BOLA, Battle of Los Angeles, and this was like in uh, 2006. You guys know today? You know the year it is now? It's 2022. So let's do some math. Damn. 2022 minus six. (laughs) Half of this year's BOLA competitors weren't born yet. 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16 years ago. Damn. Okay, so Sami Zayn, I'm pretty sure it was 2006. It was right around that time. might have been 2007. But we're talking 15, 16 years ago, okay? So I was with the guy that was going to pick up the wrestlers. And uh, we went to pick up El Generico, the former Sami Zayn. Uh, which, by the way, is the first time I ever saw uh, Sami Zayn with a El Generico without a mask on. So anyway, this dude was like... I couldn't even believe he was going to work that weekend. He was so banged up, and he was hobbling, and he could barely get in and out of the car. And granted, like, you know, you get injuries, and you feel like that sometimes, and you heal up and everything like that. But that was 16 years ago, all right? So anybody who's, like, down on Sami Zayn, you should have left and gone to AEW to have all these great matches and everything like that. Bro, I have no idea what this guy, this guy's body feels like. I mean, he may have a deal now where he's going to have nine matches in a year and make seven figures and set himself up for the rest of his life. If that's the case, bro, more power to this guy. More power to this guy. I'm sure that he weighed his options, and I'm sure he thought about doing different things, and this was what he chose. This And Sami Zayn's not a dumb guy. This was the decision that he made for his future. So I would not begrudge Sami Zayn for making the decision that he made. I know nothing about what he's feeling like inside. You know, he's, he's 37, 38 years old. I mean, you can't do this forever, especially when you're in WWE. So, you know, whatever he's making now, yeah, you know what? They could fire him in a year. So make your money now for the next year. Make your huge money. Put it in the bank. Save your money. Because this ain't forever. You've given that advice uh, many times in the locker room, I would hope. In the locker room? Somebody had... Yeah, I sat down all those folks at ICW and I said, you know, some of you are making big money on this show. $50. What you need to do is you need to sock it away for the future. Because you never know when this could end. Exactly. Get a mutual fund. It depends on your age, but I'd, I'd prefer medium risk. Maybe even bordering on low risk. Make your 8% a year. Reinvest the dividends. And someday you too could have hundreds of dollars in the bank for, for <laughs> down the road. Exactly. It's not about what you make. It's about what you save. And I went through this with Shinsuke Nakamura. I think we did it on the air here uh, with Samoa Joe when he went back the second time. It was picked up by Triple H. I know we did it with Kevin Owens. Not everything is for everybody. But in the position that some of those guys were in, Kevin Owens being one of them, Sami Zayn even as another one. Nobody is ever going to use, WWE's not going to use Sami Zayn the way that people that saw him in Ring of Honor and in uh, PWG and in Dragon Gate and in these other places, they're not going to use him like that. But you know what? He also can't go like that anymore, and I'm not trying to insult him. You know, it's it's amazing still what guys like he and Rey Mysterio and so many others are able to do after all these years. But like Brian mentioned, they're going to pay you a lot of money at this point in your life, at this point in your career, 
make that money? Because I know what he's going to do with a lot of that money is turn around and probably spread that money out, continue to build hospitals, continue to bank money for his family, and continue to do good things for that. So, yeah, they could absolutely get rid of him. Would I like to see him liberated? Maybe in other places doing things that are artistically uh, more exciting for me to view? Absolutely. But he's just one of those cases that his friend is staying, Kevin Owens, it's probably a good deal for him to stay and uh, continue to ride that out together and good on him. Hey, girl, how was your New Year's? Oh, it was so much fun. Brooks and I put our boots on and we did a little Texas two-step. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not like that. Daddy, these girls are so ew. Um, who are you? I'm Wendy Chu. And why are you looking at me like a ham sandwich? Wendy who? Ham sandwich? Wendy Chew? Then it ends. Bro, that was like easily a thousand times better than what they did. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.